Cascada Café de Tiro in Popayan, Colombia. With these videos, I'm doing what I can for the evolution of human consciousness, and I would appreciate your help to disseminate this important information. Please subscribe to receive the latest videos. Thank you. I was born into a very strong, traditional Canadian-Ukrainian family in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. My father's main outer purpose was to keep the Ukrainian language and traditions alive because Ukraine was under Soviet occupation and Ukrainians living in Ukraine could only speak Russian. This is the reason we only spoke Ukrainian at home and I only spoke Ukrainian for the first six years of my life. Once I started elementary school, I learned French, then English in high school, and finally I started learning Spanish at 53 when I realized that I must leave Canada. The pillow pyramid and the set of three pillows you see in these pictures is my cross-stitch work called Vishuka. It took me years to do this. My grandmother Melania, Melanie, taught me how to do this work. Melania created close to 100 of these pillows over her lifetime and the family members have them all. Most Ukrainian children in the diaspora went to Saturday morning school and plast Ukrainian scouts on Saturday afternoon. I had to marry a Ukrainian in order to continue the Ukrainian language and traditions with my kids. This is a picture of my two kids, Luba and Hrehori, Gregory, in Western Ukrainian traditional costumes. I received this video link on Ukraine from my mother. I was so moved that I decided to share parts of it in this video. With 603,700 square kilometers, Ukraine is the largest country situated entirely in Europe, 5.7% of European area. Ukraine is known as the breadbasket of Europe. A quarter of the world's richest black soil is in Ukraine. Ukraine has a population of 46 million people and another 20 million Ukrainians, of which I am one, live outside Ukraine. After the communist crimes, Holodomor, and the Second World War, the total number of Ukrainians were reduced by 45%. During the 10th and 11th centuries, Ukraine was the largest and most powerful state in Europe. Ukraine was never Russia. Medieval Rus, or modern Ukraine, and modern Russia, or former Moscovy, were always two different states. Ukrainians were the first who began to spread Christianity throughout Eastern Europe in the 10th century. Ukraine's capital, Kyiv, was one of the major Christian centers in medieval Europe for more than three centuries. Ukrainian Cossacks were an important European military force for defense of the European borders. Ukrainian culture is famous for its churches, monasteries, and cathedrals with their unique architecture and design. Ukrainian dancers are well known for their talent all over the world and Ukrainian traditional costumes are colorful and unique in every region of Ukraine with the embroidery vishuka. The tradition of decorating Easter eggs in Ukraine is older than 1,000 years. The famous Christmas song Carol of the Bells is actually a Ukrainian folk song, Shedrik, written by a composer Mykola Leontovich. Bandura is a Ukrainian national musical instrument and has a history older than 600 years. Ihor Sukorsky, 1889, from Ukraine, was the famous designer of the first practical helicopter. Ukrainians invented a plane with the largest freight carrying capacity in the world, the AN-225 Maria. According to international evaluators, Ukraine produces the best vodka in the world known as horilka. The most famous Ukrainian national dishes are borscht and vareniki. Vishuka, Ukrainian cross-stitch embroidery, is an incredibly beautiful art form passed down from generation to generation. I am made sure to ship my personal work from Canada to Colombia. Today, I am in awareness that all labels such as nationality, religion, race, 
only serve to separate humanity. In reality, we're all one. In this incredibly volatile time frame, where the old world is dying in order to make space for the emerging new world, humanity is in serious state of suffering. It is a time of great confusion because we're in between two worlds. The old illusion is dying, and this will allow the truth to emerge. But this is not an easy transition. Humanity will soon be ready to experience transformation. It is not simply an improvement of the old. We, as a species, are now consciously living this transformation, and we are mutating towards a completely new being. This human experience is winding down, and a transformed being is emerging. Will you join me in this adventure? We must first remember who we truly are, beyond the labels, and then understand what we're doing here on Earth, specifically right now. Please hit the like button, share this information, and join us in this adventure. I wish to be part of creating self-sustainable small communities. I was blessed with time and created this new life, outside of the totalitarian control system. I do not have answers for what you need to do, but I wish to share in whatever way I can. If you have any suggestions, please contact me. My contact information is below. Assistance with farmland purchases in Colombia and Ecuador. Agricultural land is a wise investment and still very economical in these countries. Long-term stay at a Colombian farm, 120 USD per week, 420 USD per month. Spanish lessons. Truth Consciousness Workshop at Cascada Café Retiro in English, Spanish, and French. Dental treatment of high quality, up to 75% savings in Colombia, and migraine treatment with NTI Dental Appliance. Infinite love.